Let's Talk Tech, another great episode. This is our eighth episode of Let's Talk Tech. As you can see next to me, we have brought a guest on the show, Hi. Kobe Thorpe. This is Kobe. This um, is Kobe Thorpe. As you know, I'm Thomas. And I'm Alan Billings. And we are your two hosts and a guest. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, you want to introduce me? Okay, our first segment is going to be on GPSs. If you don't know what that is, Again, you're living under a rock. They're very popular. Now. It's called global. We talk about a, li- a lot of living under the rock technology. Indeed. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, you're living under a rock. Okay, it's co- uh, global positioning systems. It uses a satellite and sends a signal to wherever you are and kind of tracks you for your own good to tell you directions. Uh, it's also used in cell phones for the parents who want to track their kids and want to know where their kids are at all times. I know it's I'm using it. For everything. I'm I'm using it for the uh, for my I'm launching the thing up to space. Oh yeah, yeah, we're launching that. His school, she in high school is launching. She in computer club is going to be launching some kind of cell phone. Uh, it's we're launching a camera up to space. Yeah, some kind of up cell to, phone. Uh, up to like to some sort of hemisphere. Yes. One of um, those whatever. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Um, so we want to talk about we're getting off topic. <laughs> yeah. So the GPS, pretty much what it does is it tracks you. So if you're say it's in your car, they're very popular. They have we we have a list actually to play for you of the the kinds of GPSs. We have a movie. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll keep talking until Eric can get that movie up. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the the GPS is it's it's a basic it's a basic useful system, but the problem is that you see there are uh, Discovery Channel, um, there are cars that um, run on GPS because they drive themselves using GPS, but the problem is is that those cars do not drive. You have to drive them through the spot and train the car before it just drives through that section because still, the GPS system. It's still very complicated, it's too. Complicated. It's in the working. For it's the reason that GPS system does not... Uh, when you see yourself going down a road, GPS says, you see the whole road. You don't see half of this road and half the other road. You see one You see one road. You don't see the... No. It's you not, don't see one road coming this way and one road going not, that way. It's not supposed to drive for you. It's supposed to show you. You're supposed to know the laws of the road, hopefully, if you're driving. Right. And it's well, here's to the show thing. You GPS technology would be so much better. <laughs> Yeah. If they could drive for you, there would be no accidents. Well, there would be. I mean, Rarely. GPSs. Well, no, no, the GPS driving for you would be rare if you installed it to it, stop on it, certain commands. It has to do it. It'd right. be complicated. Yeah, it'd but be the, a lot more satellites. But yeah, up the GPS is basically a simple homemade device that you put on your window, yeah. your windshield, Just and it goes on. and it's really annoying and it says <laughs> two miles to your current location. Please turn left on your current location, and. Uh, you know that's that's basically what all it does, it, but it, it can it be used for many things. It stops you from getting lost. Things. It helps you a lot from getting lost. Oh yeah. Well, I've used and it. We used it when we were gonna go get the dogs. Yeah. Uh, we used it when we were. Me and Daddy used it when we were gonna go get that plywood, free ply, plywood. They're great for far traveling. Far and, traveling. And even they're not always even in your car. There's people like in the rainforest and stuff to map the rainforest. There's G- yeah. GPSs that you hold in your hand. There's there's and handheld you kinda, GPSs. You track around. You know. You look. Yeah. Here's the map. Um, really it can neat. tell you, it, yeah, it tells you where you currently are. Where you need or, to go. You know, where you need to go. The direction. Yeah. It, it's not, GPS is not just for your car. It's for anything, really, if you want to track so it. Like I said, we're setting, even, we're even setting that thing phone. up to the hemisphere. We're sent, they have the they have the trackers in your cell phone. They have GPS in your cell phone. Uh, if you need to find out where you are, or if your parents want to find out where you are, they, they have multiple, there's multiple purposes for the GPS. Yeah, even in your cell phone now. I mean, if your parents want to find out where you are, they go into a website, they log in. Bam! Actually, there you are. actually, uh, I think the iPhone has an app now where uh, you could do that. You can find out where your kids are right from the phone. Yeah, but the only problem with that is you have to have another AT&T phone. Yeah. True. So, even if it was like prepaid or something, but it has to be AT&T. Um, <sighs> Eric, did you get that video? It's in oh. the bin. <laughs> it's gonna be called GPS. Not that hard to find. Yeah. Well, no. Well, we, no, it's the no, setup. We I don't to think we work. did it right. Did he okay, get it? There okay, we go. there it is. Thank GPS you, Eric. GPS brands. Tom, Tom, Tom. That's what I was thinking of. The Garmin GPS. Garmin. Translate, Translate is the first GPS. GPS. Griffin Buddy. Yep. HP. HP. Insignia. Insignia. Motorola. Not Navman. Nextar. Navagon. And Sony. Sony makes it. And that list was made to, made by our very own Mr. Billings over here. 
Yeah. I, I, I broke my laptop, so <laughs> Tom had to make the list. He deleted his recovery drive. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, I now, don't it's know, looking for, now it's looking for yeah, a Windows. file to try and boot Windows, and it won't do it. <laughs> won't even boot You're Linux, stupid. so, you yeah. know. I don't think, for Let's Talk Tech, that wasn't a smart move. <laughs> no. One of our bad moments in Let's yeah, Talk Tech. Yeah, one of our bad moments. Um, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so, so the GPS, like there's you said. A lot of brand, there's a lot of brands out there, too. There's, so. a, there's a lot more than that. We just put a couple down, on a, like we usually do, down on a list, and we just read them off for, you know, whatever purposes. Now, our, your, our guest speaker that talks about nothing, do you have anything to say? Do you have anything no. to say about GPS? No. no. What, do you, what, do you, what is your, your experience? What, what is your knowledge of have knowing you, absolutely nothing about a computer? Um, what is your, what is, what is your knowledge of We have brought him onto the show for something, our next segment, yeah. Steam, which you're not going to do yet, but we want his opinion. How do you feel about GPSs as we've talked about them so far? Well, I like the GPS. Like, I've experienced one before. Like, they show all, like, the major stores and everything that's near. Yeah, that's another everything. thing. Yeah, right. that's another thing. Where you can click and see, you can he, find See, stores. he brings up all the stuff. We just talk about it, and then he just brings yeah, it up. Yeah, he's good at <laughs> coming up with segment ideas. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he, uh, what you can do is you can click, especially on TomTom Tom and the, the major brands. Yeah. You can click, and it'll come up with yeah. a screen and show you uh, where Dunkin' Donuts. We've done that several times. Try to find Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King, uh, Until Road I hit Maps, that detour button. Whatever, Remember anything. That time? I, hit, I hit detour button. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to tell the story. we got plenty of time. Okay. Just off subject. I hit detour button. Yeah. Okay. I hit the detour <laughs> button on the GPS system. Took me and my mom back road. I like back roads that you would never yeah. believe were back roads. He was in somewhere. Uh, <laughs> where was it? I have no idea. Okay. Well, they it were like very small they were road. very silent. They were like very solid. Rocky town. road. Yeah. Is a very rock. back road as it is. So then they took a back road of a back road. They were like in goat it was like land where they were like driving through farms. They're like, whoa, yeah. watch that tree. Yeah. Whoa, you know. Yeah. It well, was it was an interesting road, yep. you know, map there. Until we got to Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, it's off, st off topic, you know. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. well, I'm that's still on topic. Here. I'm still talking about GPS. <laughs> anyway, so, so that was a fun experience, but we found it for Radio Shack um, when you wanted to go they're, get they're your power cable. They're very useful if you want to go, you know, you're in an emergency, you need to go buy food for anything. Yes, reason. especially that. Right. You could choose, to uh, not to call, but to say, where's the nearest hospital? And it'll, and it'll take you right to the nearest yeah, hospital. Yeah, even if you're really, really hungry, you can be like, bam. Where's the nearest yeah. Burger King? Where's the nearest? Where's the nearest Thai food? Yeah, and it'll bring Thai up, food. It'll bring up a list. I don't know about the newer GPS systems, but um, it'll bring up a list for you of all the... The closest. Yeah, the closest, either How far closest they are, restaurants. Directions yeah. to them. But I mean, do the new or you can search them. Do the new GPSs, like, do, if you click on, like, a major place, could they tell you its phone number? Yeah. Yes. They, see, tell you, see, they tell you information about yeah. them, all the information. There, the GPS first kind of started out on the Internet. And by what I mean by the Internet is that it started out by saying, oh, you went to maps.com, mapquest.com, google.com, and you searched it in, so that gave you the directions. Yeah. Well, this just gives you the directions S on the go. Step by step. Step by step. And so without paper, saves paper. It has more advanced features like the finding the thing right off the GPS which you can do that on your computer, but it's not, you know, yeah, you can't do that on your computer And sometimes it messes up. It, it, you ever go to MapQuest and, it me and you search something and it messes up the direction? Yeah, it'll, it'll, it will that. always get you there right. Yeah, but it, it, well, sometimes, most of the time, if it gets you there wrong, you recalculate it. But sometimes it's sketchy, where it brings you to like this huge load, sends you in a giant circle a yes, hundred times that, until yeah. you finally get to the location, hundred more miles than and, you needed to get. And the thing is, is that the one where we have doesn't allow you to choose certain roads, and I don't, I, I don't prefer that because sometimes they'll ask you to take a highway, and like my mom's terrified of highways. My mom doesn't Is like she to take really? Yeah, she, my mom doesn't like to take highways. Well, she major ones. She doesn't mind, you know. So she prefers like MapQuest, so she can just but say she, she doesn't like 91 because yeah. uh, 91 or the mo trucks. or the uh, 91. monster. 95 too. 91. Well, interstate what, one that goes she to didn't, She didn't like highways. Let's, okay. let's she doesn't like the trailer truck. She's afraid yeah. a wheel or something will pop out. I, I, I don't know, yeah, but I, that's yeah. her. Yeah. Um, Do you well, want I, let's, let's go to a commercial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we've talked enough. We'll be back in a sec. We'll be back in a sec. Following yeah. Halloween greetings, I spectacular. This is Tom Daisy from Talking With Tom. Ed, what are you doing back there? I'm looking for a needle in this haystack. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! Happy Halloween, everybody! Ooh, 
Halloween. Happy Halloween, trick or treaters to the town of Wallingford. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, bro. Happy Halloween to you, bro. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to all the people out there. Happy Halloween. 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 I'm Katherine Robinson. And I'm Marianne Bayersek. Happy Halloween, Wallingford. Happy Halloween. I watch Planet Access. Yeah, Fridays, 7. Or we'll release the house. Happy Halloween from Lucille and Dan Trzinski. Happy Halloween from Melanie and Megan. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Wishing you a happy Halloween from Dawn Thomas. Happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween from the Tardis family. This is close to the babe. You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. We're back. Yeah. So let's In perfect talk. harmony. So le yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. I'm Thomas. And I'm Alan. And I'm Colby. Yeah. It's Colby. Yeah. And this segment is going to be on Steam. If you don't know what Steam is... You're well, not living under a rock. Yeah, worry, it's not. probably... You're probably not living under a rock, but you obviously this don't is not a rock. This is not a living yeah. under a rock segment. Yeah, this is um, one of those segments where it's kind of unknown. Um, not really with, unknown. You want to start with Colby? Yeah, well, sure. Um, yeah. I introduced Tom and Al to Steam, first of all. And... Well, what it is, is you can download it for free off the internet, of course. Um, what you do on it is you buy games off of it, you put it into My Games, you download it, install it, whatever, and you could play it and everything. They have friends, you could talk to your friends, so it's like an AIM, and uh, it's got a community where you could, uh, it's like a MySpace where you could have a homepage and everything. It's that's, really cool. That's true. Okay, the, well, uh, that was the untechnical version. The, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and they have a store. <laughs> that was the. Yeah, the they have, obviously don't know they very much. buy the games off them, like you said. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, like pretty much what he said, you can go on and buy games just for Steam and play them on Steam servers. So when you log on, you go to My Games and you have a ton of games, you can click join the Steam servers and play. I mean, they have great servers so, but, uh, and great games. So instead of just going and downloading let's say you've got to download the game download the game to each computer so you got to buy a license for every computer that you download on don't worry about it download it on steam server so this way you can play it off the this way you can play it right off the steam server on any computer so you don't have to keep continuing yeah. to buy the game over well, and steam over again. just holds all your games and everything it's yeah really I, cool. yes it's really cool now um, i don't use it personally tom uses it 
I yeah, I've I've used it in the past. I like it, but uh, a new update, I believe, you have to have a game on your Steam platform now to talk on the Instant ma Messenger. Oh, really? Awesome. For one of the things that's the reason I quit because I didn't have a game and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> so, but if you buy a game, I mean, you don't even need to use the extras like the groups, the uh, just like he said, the community, the instant messaging, the friends. You don't even need to do that. If you don't have any friends, you don't even need this. You can just play Steam, the My Games, and there's even My Media. You can store songs, so when you're playing the game, you can listen to it. Well, it's pretty cool. It, it, I like that. I like that in the sense. Now, I really, I'm not really a big person on Steam. I don't really use Steam. I, you know, I played a couple games. You know, blah blah blah. But the, I, I really find it. I really find that feature useful because, you know, why do you want to keep Reloading Reading. your game. I know. I think that's sort of a waste. You know, and, it's it's. And they kind of, even make their own games. Counter Strike Source is made by the same people who make Steam. Valve. Yeah, Valve. Left Great. 4 Dead. They're coming out with Left 4 Dead 2 in November. Which is really gonna be fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Great. Great games. I love yeah. Counter Strike Source. It's only twenty dollars on their site, which isn't that much for a game. You can play it whenever you want. It's well, not twenty bucks game. is twenty bucks, but yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's and awesome. no, it's and it, yeah, it does cost money, but it, it's free to get the account, but it costs money to buy games, and and you don't have to. It's <coughs> once you get the game, just play forever. Yeah, you, you just, just play. Yeah, you just yeah. play it for as long as you want until you forget your password or your account gets and deleted or banned. And even <laughs> that, you can recover it. Oh yeah, well, not banned, but yeah. you can recover it. Um, yeah, so it, it's a it's a very good program. Now, do you, you want to talk about maybe instead of just saying that it's <laughs> uploaded to their server, say like even even their mods are good. They have mods for games. Yeah. I almost forgot that mods like uh, natural selection, like that mod. Uh, there's another mod I forgot what it's yeah, called. Yeah, and what's really good about it is they have um, one, two, three, four, five. Easy, average. You get to choose how easy you want your mods. If you're beginner, like average, or like really good. Yeah, that, uh, well, that's uh, that's for most most video games. Though I choose the beginner, average, and but this is online. But if, yeah, whew, it's online. this is online. Mm -hmm. Now, do they have like a video games for like the Xbox 360 on there? No, no. So, so but they have COD 4. COD 4 is for the computer. Yeah. No, they they don't have COD 4. They have COD 5. COD 5. Okay. I'm sure you can get COD 4 somewhere. Yeah. It's fifty dollars for COD 5. Um, yeah, but expensive. I would, I would still recommend. I wouldn't recommend getting COD 5. In my opinion, we'll talk about this later, for another segment. I'm not a big fan of COD 5. I like COD 4 better. But okay. Um, <laughs> we were going to talk about in the COD 4 segment yeah. that we deleted. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll have that coming up soon. Um, oh, and also, um, Steam has my tools, where they have dedicated servers, where yeah. you can. Download and make your own server. I think, right? Wow, I really, I really hope they have a that, dedicated server. You can dedicate <laughs> the server to that computer dedicated to Steam, a Steam server. So when it, even if you log off and there's nobody on the server, it'll still run that server for other people to use. Oh, I right. think that's a great feature. Yeah. Well, also, I'll say, um, I don't know. I know the companies don't like you doing this, but like, uh, let's say your friend wants to get on, your friend doesn't have an account. You can let your friend on and let them play on your Steam account for a little instead while, of, and then yeah, get instead, off, and instead then of them off. having to buy the game as well. Um, yeah. Now I just want to talk about this logo down here because this logo doesn't have anything to do with Steam. It looks like someone bending their elbow. It is somebody bending bending their elbow. Yeah, look at that. He's moving it. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Raise well, the roof. Yeah. Right. Raise the Steam <laughs> sign. Raise yes. the Steam <laughs> sign. Yeah. Yes. Okay, right, so yep. where'd it go? Oh, that was a mate. I punched it all the way into the next screen. Okay, so Steam. Uh, I don't know why they chose that sign. That's actually Valve's sign. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, Valve is the creator. So. Valve's are the cre the Valve is creator of this. So that's their symbol. I didn't make it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think it's a great thing. And another thing is when you close out, it goes down to the bottom, so you can just double click almost as a, uh, a yeah. Quick where it has icon. the icons at the bottom. Quick launch icon, so it'll come right back. Right click up. on it, game store, and everything. Well, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's. I I I, I like it. I, I like I said, I'm just not a big person I'm using it. Yeah. Um. Well, you will when you get your computer back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, I think definitely Steam is a thumbs up for me. I like. The whole Steam platform. I like the games you can get. You can even get demos of games before yep, they come demos. out. They have like so, 200 demo, 239 demos. So you can tell if your computer doesn't play the game. <laughs> I think that helps a lot. Not mm -hmm. so you don't have to go buy the game and then realize it won't play it. Yeah, and also, 
if like your computer can't hold it, you could go to the bottom and it'll show you what your requirements need. The requirements for your processor, your memory, your hard drive yeah, space. Yeah, like Tom's computer can barely play COD 4. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can <laughs> we do it? <laughs> go GeForce FX 5200. <laughs> go shared. Shared. Yeah. yeah <laughs> use, a, use a shared Intel, yeah. Intel R. But yeah, I, I definitely think Steam is a great gaming platform for most games, any games, and it has great servers, great selections. And like I said, you could download Steam for and free, it's just the games you buy you have to yeah, pay Yeah, so for it's for. not, there, there's other places that are similar to Steam where you pay monthly memberships for the account. This is completely this free This is completely for free, Steam. except for the and games. E and even when, after you buy the game, you don't have to keep paying for the game. It's completely yeah. free once you buy the yeah, game. Yeah, once you buy the game. It's on your platform, use it on any computer as long don't, as you know your password. Don't keep, don't keep paying, don't be like, okay, I'm just gonna pay this company $5 a month like you do RuneScape. Yes, don't do that. Play Steam. We are now going to go to a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was such a good A. <laughs> okay, we'll see you when we come back from our yep. very awesome ending Bye -bye. of the commercial. Bye-bye. Be back in a sec. This is close to the babe. You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. Okay, we're back. Welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. And this is our news segment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the pet. So out of the shot there. This is our new segment. As you can see, we've had this for the last couple of times. And this new segment is going to be on Flash. Flash player. Flash player. Okay. Okay. Basically, for the Mac. For okay, the Mac. Fine, you do it. <laughs> uh, Mac Snow. Mac Snow, apparently. Just came out in shows. Yes. Just came out a few weeks ago. And apparently, don't get the Flash. The Flash is a fake. It's well, a no, fake no, no, Flash. No, no, no. It's only fake Flash for... Firefox. For Firefox. Yep. Fake yep. Flash. Don't get it. You don't need it. No. You, you do need it, but it doesn't do what you want it to do. If you're going to download Flash Player for Mac, download it for the Internet Explorer. Don't download it for the Firefox. The Firefox, what it does is, all it does is it tracks your cookies. It's just going to track your cookies, see where you go on the Internet, send it to Google. Which isn't exactly, and, it's and not exactly bad. Google does the same thing. It's not illegal. It's not bad. It just tracks where you go, so... No, and they're not but it's a fake as well. Yes, <laughs> so you're not getting what you think it is. So it is bad in a sense. So it's not going to play videos illegal, for you. So you can't sue them. Don't try. <laughs> Trust me, we've already looked into this. No, I'm just kidding. No, what... Sure. Um, <laughs> you see, uh, Google does the same thing. Anything you go to Google and you click off of it, it goes to Google Antics, and it shows up for whoever has the site. They can see what yeah, like browser our, like you had, yeah. what site, the site, how many times you visited, all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, like our site, you could tell. I could tell... What country you're from, what town you're from. I could tell, even if you, like, I could tell what kind of underwear you wore that day. Like, pretty I could much. Tell. There's, there's a lot you can see on Google Antics if you, have a, if you have a Google. So basically, the flat, the, downloading that Flash for Mac Snow Is a waste. for Firefox, it will basically, it doesn't do videos like it's supposed to. And basically, it will just, it just won't work properly. It and It will just really doesn't do anything. It will just send information. So I think it's sort of pointless to even do it. I mean... Uh, I, if you want to be tracked, I mean, why waste? Yeah. Just download it for Internet Explorer, it'll do the same thing. Um, or whatever your second, uh, you don't have Internet Explorer and Mac. No. So I whatever don't. your second, uh, Google Chrome, Safari, download it for those. But don't download it for Firefox. Yeah, don't. Because. It, it, well, if you download it for Internet Explorer, it should just work for the entire computer. But yeah, but it's not Internet because it's not a Windows. It doesn't come with Internet Explorer. No, oh, you got a point. Oh. So. But so what about download so, okay, you, so if download you download it for, for Internet Explorer, why don't you just download it as so a Safari So download it for Safari thing? or download it for 
I don't know, whatever Does Safari else. have its own flash that comes with it? I don't know, I, but I, yeah. if, if there is a Safari download, download it for Safari, skip the Firefox, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, our next... Our next news. new segment is Microsoft Office 2007 lawsuit. I know. You're thinking, whoa. We just talked about this. Whoa, <laughs> they already did that. Why are they copying segments? Why are they doing this? This is wrong. This is wrong. But no. We should send evil letters with torches. No. We are not copying. We are telling you the news from Let's Talk Tech. Okay. Basically, what happened was, Eye for Eye won. I, pss, we no already, shocker. We already no, told you There's no shocker there. Eye for Eye won. But Eye for Eye won $300 Microsoft, million. Dollars. Yeah. From Microsoft, and also, we already told you this, one, the rights that uh, Microsoft Office 2007 is no longer to sell to October, whatever the date October was. October 10th. But that's wrong. But right, that's Texas wrong. Microsoft suing, right? won an extension. No. Yeah. Uh, a Canadian company, I for I suing them. Oh, I thought it was Texas. No. Well, Texas they're suing them doing, as well. Yeah. yeah. They have a lot of lawsuits <laughs> going here. But uh, basically, Microsoft won uh, the part of the lawsuit where they get an extension. They, they told now. the judge that there's no way that they're ever going to be able to stop selling Microsoft Word in that amount of time. Exactly. Which is untrue because they could just they could have. They could have just told the stores, want. pull them off their shelves. But no, they wanted to keep selling them. So in, now they have a more time. I'm not exactly sure. No, no. The, ju the, the judge ruled till the end of this lawsuit till it get cleared yeah, up. So they so. said till they compromise on the lawsuit, till the... Co so lawsuits compromised I think what they're, Windows they're office. trying to hold it off long enough so they can get Office 2010 out because they have to change yeah, the format. Yeah, basically. Basically, this is all about Office From 10. XML. They have and to change the format from XML to another format. Yeah, and even though a Office 2010 was supposed to come out earlier mid-next year, even though it's supposed to come out mid-next year, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be delayed. So yep. they're just going to try and hold it until that. Okay. Um, next this is the end of our show, yep. but next week sh we're going to be doing. And it should be on the screen. Nvidia versus five, four, three, ATI. Two, one. Hey. Yep, we're going to be doing Nvidia graphics card versus ATI graphics cards. Which one's better? If you know, there's a huge controversy. The GeForce or the ATI. If you ATI. know what you're talking about. There, it's a huge controversy, uh, controversy for gaming. Which one should I buy? Because they're both really good graphics cards. And here's Al's segment. Microsoft, Microsoft is, is not, not the, the only one. one. Now we know. Now now. I know this. I really get pissed off when people are like, oh, I only use Internet Explorer. I only use Microsoft wo Windows. I never go outside the box and use Mac or Fly Firefox. Or I don't use Ubuntu. any other program besides Windows. Or even Ubuntu, Windows. Linux. It's free. Yeah, it's so, a free program, and you guys don't use it. <laughs> okay, you can, Linux is free. So we're, so yes. we're going to debate on that because we have a lot to talk about yes. on that. And we may bring our guest back, Kobe here. Yep. We may bring him back for another little showing. Um... So um, yeah. that wraps Enjoy. it up. Yep. Enjoy. Thanks for watching Let's Talk Tech and visit us at letstalktech.co.cc. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching.